besides spheres and ground, there are there are many other basic shapes that you can create with Babylon JS. And what I'll do in this lesson is introduce some of them. So we are going to start by creating a box, which can be represented, which can represent um, any kind of of box and also um, a cube by default. But then you can scale it into different directions. So I'm going to type in Babylon.mesh and it is Babylon.mesh what you use to create all of them. So in this case, um, I'm typing in create box and the, the name of this element will be, we'll just call it box, we'll give it an, a, a size of one and we need to pass on the scene. So this should give us a box that's going to be on the screen. But as you can see, it's on the same spot as that other sphere. So we want to move it somewhere else. Box.position equals new Babylon dot vector three. And we'll place it in, we'll place it further on X on let's say 10. And say minus, and on, on I it will be on, on it will, it will be on two. So the location that you specify is the center of the box. So if you if you say that, for example, y is going to be zero, then half of the box is going to be above the ground and half of the box is going to be below the ground. So in this case, I'm going to place it above and and then some other value for z. So that give us that gives us the the box, which is over there. It's a bit too far away, so I'm gonna change this to seven. And then we have our box. What other elements can we create? We can add a cylinder. So this is a, a common one. And I probably can't spell this right. So let's try it and see if this maybe Google will quickly correct me. So it's just with one L. So for cylinder is basically the same mesh dot create cylinder, but then the parameters are a little bit different. So we'll call this sill and we need to specify the height of the cylinder. So let's say that it's going to be a tall one five, then diamet diameter on the top. So you can have a cylinder that has a different diameter on the top and bottom. So this one's going to have a diameter of one on the top diameter of three in the bottom. Tessellation has to do with the number of segments of the circumference that is either the top or on the bottom. So I'll do I'll, I'll enter firstly a large number and I'll show you what happens when I use a smaller number. Then um, the subdivisions is something that's optional and has to do with divisions on the on on the height of the cylinder. And then we have to pass in the scene. So let's let's first take a look at what we are getting. So it is over here. It's obviously placed at the same at the same place than the than the circumference in the origin. So that is what I wanted to show you that we have sixteen, and if we enter a smaller number or a high number, we would have. So if we enter a higher number, we'll have a much smoother cylinder. So let me try with something like 30 and have another look. So I need to, we need to go back up and look down. And as you can see, we already have something that's a lot more, a lot smoother. So another thing that you can add in here um, has to do with lines. If you want to have straight lines, so for that, you can call it um, lines and this is babylon.mesh.create lines. So we have to give it a name. This is going to be basically, it's basically a set of, of lines and we will enter here an array with points for the, for the lines. So and then at the end, the scene. So in here, you need to just give it a different, different vectors. So for example, um, vector three, we can have one that's, that's in the, in the origin, but then much higher, like uh, five. 
and then let, let me add a few of these lines and then that will make sense you you'll see this is all the segments basically it's a it's a different segment so we can give something we can do something like that and then go to maybe go to two and go to two and go to two minus five so let's see what this um what we get with this so there you go you got you have that 3d segmented segmented line so as you can see there are different um, meshes that you can add and whenever you if, if the if the code completion or documentation on your code editor doesn't work like this or you just want to read more information about them you can always go to doc.babylonjs.com and then if you go to classes you'll find the official full documentation of all of them so for example uh, for the ground mesh for instance you get the what the parameters are the methods and and all of that information so keep that in mind that this is there for you to use you're most likely going to need to have it open at all times so to summarize we've added a box we simply specify the dimension which is a cube by default we look on the next on the next lesson we'll take a look at how to scale these elements and uh, keep in mind you can always change the position when it comes to cylinder you get you get uh, different diameters for the top for the bottom uh, sorry the height diameter on the top diameter on the bottom and number of segments of the circumference then you can also create uh, uh, lines with different segments in this manner where you enter each one of the locations of these of these lines